Matthew chapters 1 and 2. Matthew chapter 1, 17 through 25. Lest there were 14 generations in all from Abraham to David, 14 from David to the exile to Babylon, and 14 from the exile to the Christ. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, Son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you will, you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. And this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will will be with child and will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel which means God is with us when Joseph woke up he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife but he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son and and he gave him the name Jesus after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw a star in the east and have come to worship him. When the King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem and Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the wolves of Judea. For out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people Israel. Then, he, then Herod called the Magi secretly and found them the exact same time the star had appeared. He sent to he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report him to me so that, too, that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star had seen, they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with the gifts of gold, of incense, and with the gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you. For Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up and took the child, his mother, and his mother during the night, and they left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so... And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet. Out of the Egypt I called, my, I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he, he was furious and he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under. In accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Then what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. A voice is heard in Ramah, reaping in great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. After Herod had died, after Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared 
in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, go back to the land of Israel. For those who were trying to kill, trying to take the child's life are dead. So he got up, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning in Judea in the place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there, having been warned in a dream, he withdrew in a town of Nazareth. So was fulfilled what was said through the prophets. He will be called a Nazarene. Chapter 3 In those days John the Baptist came preaching in the desert of Judea, and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. This is he who was spoken of through the prophets. Isaiah, a voice of the of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight paths for him. J John's clothes were made of camel's hair, and he had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. People went out to him from Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole region of the Jordan, confessing their sins. They were baptized by him in the Jordan River. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to where he was baptizing, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath, produce fruit and keep him with repentance, and do not think you can say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. I tell you that that out of these stones, God can raise up children for Abraham. The axe is already at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you, I baptize you with water for repentance, but after me will come one who is more powerful than I whose sandals I am not fit to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His window wing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his th threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the, the barn and burning up the chaff with uncritchable fire. And Jesus came from Galilee to Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. And do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill right, all righteousness. Then John cons consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was open, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning on him. And a voice from the heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. That was... That was... Chapter... One through three of Matthew. It was Matthew chapter one, seventeen through twenty five, all the way through chapter three.